Hey, but it's I'm back once again, and we're here to look at this bad boy today, the MX Master 3 for Mac. You're thinking, for Mac? Yes, my friends. This is specifically the colouring and whatnot is designed just for the Mac. It is for the MX Master series, obviously by Logitech, the advanced wireless mouse. Hmm. But it's also compatible with iPad. So I think the fact that they've branded it for Mac and then iPad is obviously this is aimed at more of the Mac kind of enthusiasts. And I guess in the, probably the colour, obviously it'd be more like the space grey stuff and whatnot, stuff like that, is that's probably why they're, it's kind of like the market they're going for, let's say. Anyway, let's have a quick look around the box. So have a look here. It's USB-C quick charging, eight hours with a three minute charge. That's bonkers. There's 70 days with a full charge. It includes the USB-C to C type charging cable, which is fantastic. Uh, what's inside the box? As you can see here, we're going to get the mouse, the cable, and some documentation. On and the back, just give you a bit of room for a bump for experience the speed with the MagSpeed magnetic scroll wheel. Uh, comfort support, uh, work faster because app specific, which I use a lot on my Mac. So in other words, if I'm using, let's say, a Chrome, I can say, right, I want the scroll wheel to always be up and down and my side wheel to go back and forth, let's say back or let's say go through different tabs. Basically, you can customize it how you want it for. For your Mac, space gray finish, optimized for Mac OS and iPad compatible. The precise tracking on any surface, it's got a 4,000 DPI sensor. Anyway, as you probably know, I actually use the Mix Master 2S as my actual mouse. So I'm actually looking forward to this. And as you can see, very kind of similar kind of a uh, coloring. So I'm pretty happy about that. But one thing that I didn't like about this one is it's, it's good and it's bad. As you can kind of see that with the rubber stuff here, you've got constantly got to clean it. Now, from what I remember, this one doesn't have that, which I'll show you now anyway. So let's have a quick look. Let's just uh, cut through that. Here we go. I think it's uh, open now. Here we go. All right. Dun, dun, dun. Let's pull her out. An MX by Logitech. Yay. Dun dun. Dun dun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like a look at that already. Let's just take it out. Let's put it to the side. What else are we also getting in here? I think we've already read it, but let's have a quick look. So we are getting a type C to type C charging cable. Now obviously if you're on an older computer, you're not gonna be able to use this. But I'm guessing this is kind of aimed at more people, let's like, say, with the new MacBook Pros, and they're all about USB-C uh, life, so that's for that one there. And obviously, also get your information, warranty, all that kind of mofo bum for as well. Anyway, that's all the boring stuff, let's be honest. Let's have a little look at the actual mouse itself. Take it off to the side, and here it is, and it, is it a bit lighter? I think it feels a little bit lighter. Let me just uh, kind of feel a little bit. Yeah, it feels a little bit light. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if it is. I uh, should, probably should have looked at that, but anyway. Have a look at the back, bottom of both of them. As you can see here, it's got all the information on there. So we'll just uh, take this off. And I think it's going to be a very similar affair. If not almost identical. Yeah, look at those. Now, as you can probably see, the actual pads themselves have got bigger here. But this has got smaller on this side. And this one's probably about the same. Not a massive difference. Just a little bit shorter. So that's kind of interesting. They decided to go with bigger pads and then smaller pad. I wonder why that was. Anyway, it's got the exact same information. You can probably see that there. It's got your three different options. So you can have it hooked up, let's say, a Mac, an iPad, and let's say another device. So you could have two iPads, whatever, or two, two MacBooks. You then got your MX Master 3 for Mac, the on-off switch. There's your sensor. And again, there's your little uh, skate pads. Let's just see how it feels on this surface. Now, I actually do use a mouse mat, but... Let's see if it feels in there. Feels pretty nice up to the old one. Yeah, it's probably he's wearing in a little bit. But it feels nice. It feels it does feel lighter. And it does kind of feel significantly smaller. I think this is because this part here is with the old one. It's kind of a bit more of a chunky boy here. Whereas a little bit slimmed down on the new one. Here. Yeah, it's a little bit slimmed down. But as you were saying with regards to the scroll wheel. If I can get it to focus for us, probably see it as it goes around. You might see little bits there, you go, so little bits of white. So I've constantly got to kind of clean that out every now and again. Um, probably do it like maybe once a week or so. Whereas on the new one, 
I'm guessing it's probably not going to get stuck in there as much because it is, or at least it feels like it, it's just all metal. In fact, it is metal, it feels it's, it's cold to the touch. And then same on this one here. Look at that, the little uh, scroll up and down. Or you can change again, you can change that, feels a little bit nicer. Whereas in the old one, it's kind of got that, that, that kind of uh, detail on it. So yeah, it feels a little bit lighter, it's bigger anyway. It feels a little bit more kind of scrollable, let's say. Now this is one thing I'm very excited about, is on this one, the back button and the forward button, or you can, can customise it, but I use it as back and forward. They're kind of a little bit too small here, whereas on the new one, as you can see, they're just below it. So instead of having to kind of go like that and go back, let me get it to go back a little bit. It's this one, you obviously got to go like that, you then got to go like underneath it and then above it, like that. This one, it's literally just going to be backwards and forwards like that, but they're there. I don't have to kind of reach up here and modify it or mess around with it. It's just going to be there. And then it's got the same button, but the button, you can probably see this here. Yeah, yeah, so look, if you press this button in here, you can actually see that button going in. See it? Whereas in the old one, it's actually built into the frame, so it's actually underneath it, so you actually have to press it here. So again, that's another slight difference they've kind of done there. They've kind of cut that a little bit off. I think the button feels a little bit a little bit harder to kind of press down. This one's very, very just very straight down. So again, it's gonna have to maybe because I've used it quite a lot, it obviously could be that. And then how's the clickiness? How's it feeling here? Yeah, they feel pretty good. What about this one. It feels it actually sounds a lot lower, so I'm just gonna bring it a bit closer so you can hear it. Then we'll bring it even closer to the microphone. Hopefully you could hear that one. That's the old one, and this is the new one. Yeah, it just sound it actually sounds quite a little bit a little bit lower to my ears. They sound a little bit more pronounced. Very similar. And the button obviously in the middle as well. Got to say, I do like the feel of it. It does it looks nice. Look at that. I like the, uh, the kind of slightly darker colour than the old one I've got here. But yeah, it, it does, it definitely is smaller. As you can probably see it here in terms of the width from side to side. It's definitely got a kind of had a bit of slim down. And the actual charging icon or the, the actual power is here. Obviously that one there. And this one, I think the battery level, it actually comes here. So a different, uh, different location for that one as well. Probably just see that there. But yeah, that's it. I mean, I like the look of it. I like the feel of it. I'm kind of a bit blown away because it's the same mouse, but it's not. Obviously, there we go. The same, the uh, USB Type C, and obviously the micro USB. Something that always bugged me about the old one is that it was not USB Type C. I wish that they would have launched with Type C. Whereas this one just fixed that because everything I've got is Type C. You know, pretty much everything I'm charging off of my different devices with, it's all Type C now. Micro USB is pretty much just gone or it's dying out. So yeah, I like it. I'm. I'm it feels like a different mouse. I know you're probably thinking, but Sam, it is a different mouse. No, but it doesn't feel like the actual old one. It does feel like a, a new mouse altogether. So it might, tire. yeah, I might have to get used to it because it is quite a bit smaller in these little pads here as well. I don't know if you can see that. See how big they are there and there. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> bit of a weird run, isn't it? But that's about it. That is the MX Master 3 for Mac. Um, the another difference between this and the non-Mac one is that it's only Bluetooth. You don't get any kind of dongle in the box, which some people might be like, what? But I like that dongle. No dongle in this box. And I think, again, because of, because this is aimed at like my more of a MacBook Pro, is they don't have a Type-C version of that dongle right now. It is literally just a normal USB A1, just kind of plug it in and leave it there. That's what I actually use on this one. So it's going to be going to be fun to see what it's like using this on Bluetooth. So yeah, it might be fun in games. We'll soon see. If you'd like a follow-up, like a full-on dedicated review showing every aspect of it, then let me know in a comment down below. This is just off a kind of initial impression in terms of the hardware, how it feels and stuff like that. And I like it. It is definitely different. That's one thing I will, t I will say. Um, I do prefer this kind of Kind of see that little bit of a kind of a indentations here that kind of you know gives it like a nice little feel at the back whereas this one obviously it's just just that and a bit of plastic 
But I think, I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do an update video on this one, I think. Follow me on Twitter, at Sam J Pullen. I'll give more thoughts out there what I do think about this one versus the, the old one. So yeah. Anyway. Shut up, Sam, I'm gonna get off. This has been the video on the MX Master 3 for Mac. And again, any question with regards to this or anything else, hit me and put a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. It is very much appreciated. Go on, smash like. It's free. Anyway, you can meet up on all my other socials, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, or wherever it might be. Links are all down below. And once again, thanks for watching, and you'll hopefully hear me. And you'll probably see these little puppies, or these chubby puppies, in my next video. Cheers, everyone.